What's up, ladies and gentlemen? You know, on a day like today, I really wasn't supposed to be doing some podcasts, but then I thought about something. I thought about the fact that it is Valentine's Day after all. And if you're a man and you got love in your heart, in your veins, you know something? How could you not? Do a podcast on a day like today. This ain't the day to be silent. This ain't the day, fellas, to go AWOL or MIA. This is a day where you've got to be present. You know, <clears throat> as I sit here reflecting on the kind of year that I've had, I feel truly, truly blessed. had a lot of good things happening to me but you also upon reflecting on things things about you think about all the blessings that have come your way and all the blessings that have come my way in my lifetime has always been because of the ladies from being raised born and raised by the greatest mother that anybody could ever imagine to having four beautiful sisters to having nine different nieces and of course two beautiful daughters on a day like Valentine's Day what you want to do is you want to remind the ladies in your life whoever they are that they are loved that they are valued that they are treasured and that might be a difficult thing for the fellas to do sometimes all I can say to you is dig deep. Because on a day like today, no matter what she tells you, whoever that woman is, she expects it. It could be your spouse. It could be your significant other. It could be a woman that's a friend or one who fantasizes about being more. The bottom line is, as a man, you have an obligation on this day to show nothing but love. Remember that. Heed those words. By the way, I'm on the road, but I'm still in the studio thanks to our official studio sponsor, FanDuel Sportsbook. FanDuel is the official sports betting company of the No Mercy podcast. Also, as a note, Gold is the silver bullet for protecting and building your wealth. Call my friends at Legacy Precious Metals at 866-257-3080. That's 866-257-3080. Or download your free investing kit by visiting them online at LegacyPMInvestments.com. I can say that in the middle of my soliloquy because obviously as sponsors, they want to appeal to the ladies too. And they want the ladies out there to know that you are loved and you are valued and we want to support you every bit as we want those men out there to support you. Now me, as I sit here thinking about Valentine's Day, I think, how would I start off Valentine's Day? Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, I ain't talking about myself. I'm not talking about myself. I'm not gonna give away my tidbits and all that stuff. I'm not gonna get into what I'm doing, what my life is like, cause it's not about me. This is about y'all. The ladies out there are listening. They want to know. Stephen, what are you going to say, Stephen, about how we should be treated? What are you going to say, Stephen, about the love that we give and the dedication that we show and the focus that we give to the men in our lives? When are we going to be appreciated from it? I get it. I understand. So let's start off and let's use this podcast moment to fantasize about how we're going to start off Valentine's Day. I think about a lot of things. Sometimes I want to start with some upbeat music. You know, one of my favorites is Love Is All We Need by Mary J. Blige. Now, if y'all don't know that song, you starting off with strike one. You starting off with strike one because you got to know 
songs like that. Music are the ears for the soul. No matter what anybody tells you, when people hear songs that they like to hear, it moves us all. So you got to use music as your best friend on Valentine's Day. You got to start this off right because how you start the day off might very well contribute to how you finish today. Use your imagination to figure out what I'm talking about. How you start off your day may influence how your day is finished. Some people sit up there and say, yeah, maybe I should get up and I should make a breakfast. Or she might not want to eat. She might want to be fed in different ways. We don't know what that is, how that is. That depends on your woman. That matters. She might want you to take her out for breakfast. She might want you to take the day off and stay in for breakfast. She might not want to eat at all. You got to know the answer to these questions when they're your woman. But here's the key. It cannot be something that you ask her. She expects you to know. Think hard. Think back to previous Valentine's Day moments with your lady, with your significant other. You notice how quiet she gets on that particular day. You know why, fellas? Because she expects you to know. She doesn't want to have to tell you. If she has to tell you, it's a strike against you. Because to her, it means you haven't been paying attention. Which means you haven't been attentive enough. And if you haven't been attentive enough, she's going to ask why. Not to you, but to herself. And as she asks those questions, internalizing it all, she's going to reach the conclusion that for some reason or another, she doesn't mean as much to you as she wants to mean to you or that she thought she meant to you. And as a result, you're going to be behind the eight ball. You're going to be struggling a little bit. You're going to have to get that together. That's just the first tidbit that I wanted to give you. I already talked to you about Mary J. Blige. Love is all we need. We could go old school with Marvin Gaye. I want you. I want you. I want you. Trust me. Trust me. That's all I have to say. All you have to do is pull up Marvin Gaye. That will work. And remember this. You know when she gets up. You know when she's got chores or obligations, whether it's work or home related, to do. So when you play that music, you don't wait until she gets up and she get dressed or whatever. From the moment she gets up, that music needs to be ready to go. You should have your playlist ready. And you should have a playlist that says exactly what your intentions are which on that particular day is to please her come hella high water by reminding her how adored and loved and cherished she is that's just that one I got more they call me a lot of things I don't know what they'll call me after this but I got a suggestion Stephen A for the love in you back with more in a minute with room you can shop thousands of cars right from your phone and have your next ride delivered straight to you all i'm trying to say is that there's a better way to buy your next ride okay and it's room you'll never have to haggle or negotiate the price on room so you know you're getting a good deal that goes for buying and selling you can get a price instantly if you're selling and you'll also never have to settle they have Thousands of cars available. Plus, you can try out your new ride for a full week or 250 miles, whichever comes first. All cars on Vroom.com come with a 90-day limited warranty and a year of roadside assistance, too. You can buy a car from Vroom entirely online. So next time you need to buy a car, just grab your phone, go to Vroom.com, and check out thousands of cars. 
Everybody likes to eat well. I'm no different. You all know that. Eating well makes me energetic, allows me to work hard, allows me to feel good. And by the way, that applies to all of us. So I've got great news for you. Eating well doesn't have to be hard, y'all. No need for some big shopping list. You don't need to sacrifice flavor. You can just go with Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. They've got great meals. In fact, over 30 recipes to choose from each week. Petta pasta, chickpea power bowls, Parmesan crusted chicken. Now that's my favorite. My Lord, it's delicious, y'all. Trust me on this. And these are restaurant quality meals that I can make in under 25 minutes. You know I'm a busy guy. And with Green Chef, my time is never wasted. Plus, no matter what type of eater you are, keto, vegan, whatever, they've got you covered. Go to greenchef.com slash mercy60 and use code mercy60 to get six. 60% off plus free shipping. One more time. That's greenchef.com slash mercy60 and use code mercy60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. You know, <clears throat> when I think about Valentine's Day, first of all, let me just throw this out the way because I don't want y'all thinking I just got two songs or whatever. I mean, think Luther House is not a home. I think think Freddie Jackson, you are my lady. Think Petty Teddy Pendergrass. I mean, close the door. I mean, come on now. Marvin Gaye, I already brought that one. Sexual healing, I want you, etc., etc. I mean, the list goes on and on. Troops, all I do is think of you day and night. I mean, come on, y'all. Johnny Gill, I'm still waiting. I would suggest that song to anybody. I'm Still Waiting by Johnny Gill. It's one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Boys to Men. I mean, there's a whole list of songs that you could peel from there. I'll Make Love to You. Come on now. But that's how you end the night. And for the fellas out there, I know what y'all are thinking. Some of y'all are out there thinking, what about us? Come on, Stephen A., don't betray us. Don't sit up there and don't look out for us. What about us, Stephen A., don't betray us? Well, let me, uh, fellas... Fellas, when I used to give this advice, especially when I subbed for Steve Harvey on the Steve Harvey Morning Show doing the Strawberry Letters, remember that from years ago? Fellas, be clear. I'm not betraying you. I am looking out for you. Iron sharpens iron. As you bless people with words of wisdom, you inhale it and then you utilize it and then you go out and you bless others with that same level of wisdom. This is not a time to fight with me and push back and talk about what about the men? What about the men? You know good and damn well, Valentine's Day does not belong to us. It belongs to them. You know good and damn well that if you are a man and it's about Valentine's Day, you ain't thinking about what she's going to give you other than what you want from her later on. You're thinking about what it takes to get her to want to because you want to make sure that you fulfill her expectations because you know she has them. And what you are praying is that on that particular day that you get through the day unscathed. That everything that you were supposed to do, you do so you don't have to hear about it for the next 364 days directly or indirectly. Fellas, we know this. Let's stop the lies. So because of that, it's important that rather than fight and resist the temptation to get self-defensive and say, what about me? What about me? You embrace the concept of it being all about her. And when you're giving her that day, what is it going to take to put a smile on her face? What is it going to take to make her look at you the morning after and say, my man is so wonderful. He's so precious. I love him so much. Damn, I'm lucky. That is the objective. That is what you are in pursuit of. Okay? That's what I want you to think about. So as you go through the day, every little thing that you do, excuse me, if she got up to work early and you ain't living with her, walk to the office. Roll up in the office with some flowers. You don't have to say a word. All you got to do is walk up to her. Don't have a receptionist come and take something from you. No, you want to see her. You don't even care if she's in a meeting. 
She can either come out of the meeting or you walk into the meeting. You put the flowers right down in front of her. You look into her eyes. You give her a peck on the lips. I love you, baby. I'll see you later. And walk out. Everybody talk about dinner and dancing. Oh, man, it's going to cost some money. It's going to cost some money. What, really? You know what she's saying? Am I not worth it? Don't you love me? When we were together all of this time, weren't you telling me you loved me? Did I not mean something to you? Am I not worth that? Is that what you're saying? That's what she's thinking. If you say something like that, you got to be mindful. You got to be protective of that. The entire day has to be about the mood. Now, there are exceptions. You do have some women out there that Valentine's Day does not mean that much to. But you know who those women usually are? Those that don't have to depend on Valentine's Day to be treated right. Because when you spend year round treating her like it's Valentine's Day, then you can have a touch of slippage. But if you're that brother who's a bit dilatory, who engages in a dereliction of duty, who doesn't put forth the necessary effort on far too many occasions to count, then this day has to mean everything to you. In some people's eyes, it would say, that's how you buy yourself some time. For you, it should be time to correct the error of your ways. So let's say for the sake of argument, you're a little broke. And you can't afford to go out to a fancy restaurant, okay? Well, there's nothing that's preventing you from having enough money to go to the supermarket to buy some food. That's considerably cheaper than dinner. You can also make sure that when she comes, whether it's to your home or her place that you frequent enough to get in on your own or whatever the case may be. Could you imagine if she comes home and she sees you behind in the kitchen cooking for her? Could you imagine if there's a bottle of wine with clean glasses and there's candlelight right there and you're the one that set that up and you didn't leave that to somebody else to do for you? Could you imagine? If you put on display the time and the effort it took just to pay rapt attention to her and because of all she's done for you. And you sit up there and you say to her, baby, I just want this day to be about you. Forget all our trials and tribulations, forget all our arguments, forget all the noise, all the things that we've dealt with. I want this day to be about you. Oh, by the way, could you come with me, please? And then when you grab her by the hand and you walk her down the hallway and you open the bathroom door because you know she had a hard day's work as a bubble bath waiting for her. It's just for you. And you already got a glass of wine in there. I want you to relax. And you don't need to get a playlist. You got a playlist already in place for her because you know what she likes to listen to. All of these attentive things. It's not just about Valentine's Day. It's about what led up to Valentine's Day. It shows that you were attentive and you did enough to know who she is, what she likes, what her dislikes are, what she wants, what she needs at that particular moment. Because you've been paying attention to all the weeks and the days leading up to this day. That's what the music's for. That's what the dinner's for. That's what the wine is for. That's what the day is for. You can use Luther or Teddy Pendergraft. Let me not get, forget the Isley brothers. We can't forget them. Boys to men. I say Johnny Gill. Can't forget Prince. I truly adore you. You know we can't forget Prince. You can't forget a whole host of people. Marvin Gaye is one of my all-time favorites, like I said. All of these people come to mind. But no matter what music you play, no matter what songs you depend on, just understand that in the end, it comes down to you. And that's what I'm going to close out the last segment of this podcast explaining. It all eventually comes down to you more of no mercy in a minute 
Newsflash, as you get older, your hair will thin. You, me, pretty much everybody. What matters is how you get ahead of it. And Nutrafol's approach is the way to go. I can't recommend it enough, y'all, and neither can doctors. It's the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement. And there's a reason for that, ladies and gentlemen. This is some complex stuff. But guess what? They figured it out. Not only do they take my genetics into account, they look at all these other factors, my stress, my nutrition, my lifestyle. And I love how they take that whole body approach. I know you're looking at Stephen A with this receding hairline and saying, what the hell is he talking about? Well, guess what? If I didn't use Nutrafol, I might be bald by now. Take that into consideration, okay? You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com slash men and entering the promo code MERCY to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere, and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus, free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com slash men. Spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash men. Promo code MERCY. That's promo code MERCY. The NBA season is underway, and I got to tell you, all I hear from my friends, my family, my colleagues, is how much more fun it is when you're betting on the action. So it's the perfect time to download FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Because right now, new customers get a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's up to $1,000 back in free bets if your first bet doesn't win. If it doesn't win, maybe it will. You never know. You can bet on everything from the money line to point spreads to player props to same game parlays. How many points or boards is LeBron James going to have? Bet on it and find out. You can even bet live with updated odds. The FanDuel Sportsbook app is safe, secure, and super easy to use. So download FanDuel today using promo code MERCY to get your no sweat. First bet up to $1,000. Make every moment more this season with FanDuel, official sportsbook partner of the NBA. 21 plus in select states. First online real money wager only. Bonus issued is non-withdrawable free bets that expire in 14 days. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit fanduel.com slash RG in Colorado, Iowa, Maryland, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Virginia, and West Virginia. 1-800-NEXT-STEP or text NEXTSTEP to 53342 in Arizona. 1-888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org slash chat in Connecticut. 1-800-9-WITH-IT in Indiana. 1-800-522-4700 in Wyoming and Kansas or visit ksgamblinghelp.com in Kansas. 1-877-770-STOP in Louisiana. 1-877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY to 467-369 in New York. Tennessee red line 1-800-889-9789 in Tennessee. Did you know that last year the S&P 500 went down 20%? Bitcoin went down almost 60%. But gold not only didn't lose money, but went up a few percentage points. So far this year, gold has been steadily rising and silver is up almost 30% in the last six months. Experts predict gold will continue to skyrocket this year and you don't want to miss out. That's because gold protects you from inflation and market volatility. Gold and silver should be a part of every balanced investment portfolio. Legacy Precious Metals is the company I trust when it comes to investing in precious metals. What I like about LPM is they have an education first approach. Making investing decisions can be overwhelming, but their team takes the time to answer all of your questions and give recommendations based on your personal situation. Call Legacy Precious Metals at 866-257-3080 or visit them online at LegacyPMInvestments.com to download your free investing guide. Don't leave your finances to chance. Be informed. Contact my friends at Legacy Precious Metals. You know, you know you want my loving baby. I brought that up because I was thinking keep sweat because nobody begged better than Barry White. I got to admit, Barry White was a better beggar than Keith Sweat. Keith Sweat, love is the icon. I mean, y'all, I mean, he just talked through the whole song. You understand? Just talk through the whole song. Barry White, something special. He got Keith Sweat with the begging, but Keith Sweat was very, very popular. Let's not forget Charlene by Anthony Hamilton. Let's not forget, let's get it on by Marvin Gaye. I, I mean, I'm getting, I'm, I'm starting to shake. I'm starting to shake. I'm just getting, this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about to people. You understand? You know, t- t- this is precious. This is precious. This is something that you hold on to, okay? I had somebody bring up new edition. Yeah, can you stand the rain? That brings that back bad memories. I had a college sweetheart that broke my heart over that, that, that song. I mean, I, I mean, I, I got reminded of that just a few minutes ago. You know, they can you stand the rain? Well, you caused the rain. 
So I got a problem with the fact that she wanted to bring up that song. You you caused the rain. But that was a great song. Can you stand the rain? Sunny days. It's a beautiful song. But damn it, it brings back memories. Why I Love You by Major. See, I'm just, Lord. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Remember when Steve Harvey did Kings of Comedy and he was talking about the brother Lenny that did it cry through the whole song? You know, I mean, Lord, have mercy. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell y'all? I'm a Stephanie Mills fan. Some people brought up Natalie Cole. Y'all young whippersnappers don't know about that, but Stephanie Mills was no joke. Shaka Khan was no joke. I'm a Rick James dude. You understand? Fire and Desire. Mary Jane, I love you just the same. I'm just, come on now. I'm just saying, you know, Dave Chappelle, cocaine was a hell of a drug, but damn it, it worked for that song. All of these things are true, all right? Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. That's Bill Weathers. Bill Weathers. See, see, I mean, this is old school. You can play this. It depends on how old or how young you are. Cry together. The OJs, uh-huh, the Temptations, the Whispers, ladies, La lady by the Whispers, you said you love me, lady, girl, I hope you do, only you can save me, my life equals you, oh, I'm just getting emotional right now, I'm just getting emotional listening to this, I mean, do you understand what I'm trying to say to y'all? This is what Valentine's Day is supposed to be about. And I can't even sing. Did you hear me try to hold the tune right there? I actually almost pulled it off because that's how moved I am by Valentine's Day. But please understand that as you think about songs like this, there's a lot of different scenarios. If you're young, all you're thinking about is getting the cookie. You ain't thinking about whether or not you deserve it. You're worthy of it. And all I'd have to say to the young fellas out there, it ain't about what you can get. It's about what you can keep. Can you keep her? Can you keep her wanting you? Think about that. You're a little bit older. Wisdom kicks in. You care about more than what you can get. Because you soon realize you can get a lot, but just because you can get a lot doesn't mean you get what you want or what you need. It's like putting fuel in the gas tank. You can get the cheap, cheap gas and your car chug along, or you can get premium gasoline and it flows smoothly. Or Supreme and it revs up. Cost more, but it's worth it. Now you got some people out there. I got one of my producers in a long distance relationship that does pose its challenges. There is no doubt about that. But on a day like Valentine's Day, she ain't supposed to be long distance. She's supposed to be as close in proximity as humanly possible. That ain't the day to be long distance. That's the day to be with her. Now, some people will sit up there and say, Stephen A., why on a day like today, you bringing all of this up? Yeah, we know it's Valentine's Day. What you doing? Don't worry about what I'm doing. Do I look unhappy? I'm good. Because again, I don't depend on Valentine's Day to make a day special for that significant someone. There are many, many other days throughout the years that you're supposed to be spending time doing that. Valentine's Day is an example, an indication of what works and what you should be doing the vast majority of the time. But in the end, what we really, really come down to and what it really has to come down to is appreciating love and what love is all about. Valentine's Day, you know, you got that red heart and all of that other stuff. That's indicative of love and passion. It's not just passion without the love. It's people needing to feel loved and valued and appreciated for who they are and what they represent to you in your life. 
Are we doing that? And fellas, I'm going to remind you again, the day ain't about us. The day might be about what we can do for them, but it's about them. Christmas is about the both of us. Birthdays are about the both of us and our respective birthdays. But Valentine's Day belongs to her. Just like Father's Day belong to fathers, Mother's Day belong to mothers, Valentine's Day belong to ladies. And if we don't have a day, it's because we never deemed it important to have a day. So we can't blame them for that. But at the end of the day, if we really, really being honest, fellas, when you got that beautiful, precious lady in your life, why is she beautiful and precious in your life? Because she's been doing stuff a vast majority of the times over the days, the weeks, the months, and the years to earn that spot in your life. You know that. I know that. As men, we ain't got nobody in our life. If they're not serving that kind of purpose in our life, fulfilling us with some degree of happiness that we aspire to have, we wouldn't settle for that. On this day, make sure she does it. From the moment she gets up, even if it's just a song you play, make sure she knows you're thinking about her. That day when she goes to work before she walks out that door. You remember Martin Lawrence when he was sitting there doing stand up? And he sat up there and he said, you just look at her and you scream, hey! I just lip synced, I love you. For those that can't see me. I said, hey! She sent up there, oh my Lord, this man. She go to work thinking about you. All of a sudden she's at work, you just stop by. And by the way, it doesn't have to be the dozen roses. One works just as effectively. I just came by to get this to you. Just to let you know I'm thinking about you. I'll be waiting for you later. Day can't end soon enough for her. And then she gets home. Y'all can go out because she likes to get dressed up to go out. But if you ain't going to do that, you can cook for her. She knows what you'll want at the end of the evening. The question is, do you know what she wants? Because if you know what she wants and she knows you know what she wants, she's more apt to please you because you're pleasing her. Life is reciprocal. We tend to give what we get. And for those who take but don't give, they usually expire anyway. As a presence in our life because we deem them to be selfish. Make sure you're not that dude. Make sure you're not that man. Make sure that even if you're just a boy learning to be a man, you give her indications that you have an idea of what manhood is and the role that you are supposed to play in her life. Because you can expect all you want. You can hope even more. But in the end, when you don't deliver your end of the bargain, you are in no position to talk to her about your hopes your dreams and expectations when it comes to what you want from her. That is the real world. That's what transitioning to manhood is all about. It's what Valentine's Day typifies. Whether you long distance, short distance, or no distance at all in proximity to one another, it all comes down to understanding that reality of the male-female dynamic, especially on Valentine's Day. I hope this podcast, this edition of No Mercy, has helped you on this particular day. I wanted this posted on Valentine's Day just to let y'all know I was thinking about all of y'all. I am good. Life is fine. But I want other people's lives to be just as good, if not significantly better than mine. It's what No Mercy is all about. Giving you what I got when I can to help better us all. I hope I did that today. If I haven't, I'll try again next year. And God willing, the year after that, the year after that, and the year after that, until I get it right. 
I think I got that kind of time. You might not think so, which means you need to get up and make it happen for yourself right now. But remember what I just said, what this particular podcast was all about. It all starts with making it happen for her. Get that playlist ready so you can get ready to play. Till next time, everybody. As I always say, you don't have to know sports to know mercy. I think I've proven that yet again. Peace and love. Happy Valentine's Day. Enjoy the day and the night.